To make an automatic fissure, you need a cup and duct tape. You're going to make a hole like this and then duct tape it closed. Okay, once you've made the hole, you need to duct tape the top of the cup so the food doesn't fall out. Tell me when it's recording. So you need to take the servo and duct tape it onto the cup, the bottom. Okay, now we've connected the servo onto the back of the cup. Yeah, so, and when you move it, it's the, the connector, uh, this part should not move. Should not move. Yep. Okay, so the next thing you'll have to do is get your Arduino and servo and the other parts that are needed in this project and make this uh, little circuit here. Uh, for a JPEG of this, just uh, see the link in the description. Okay, the next thing you'll have to do is uh, get the code. The code, the, there's a link to the code in the, dis there's also a link to the code in the description. So once you're done putting the breadboard, we'll just connect the servo. Once you're done, it should look something like this. So we're just connecting up the servo and we will be done. Behind that mess of the wires, uh, can, can you move the wires? Let me just see. Oh, okay. Behind that mess of the wires, there's the dip switch. You should be able to see that. And we're just finishing the breadboard. Okay. okay, we've also uploaded the code, so now it's ready to test. One thing you'll have to do before this code works is here where it says change. See, it says times 3,000, times 4,000, times 5,000, and times 6,000. That's how many minute, uh, how many uh, seconds or minutes or hours each dip switch is. So right now the first dip switch is just uh, going to go, it's going to feed in three seconds, and you're not going to want that, so just adjust it to the times you like. We've kept it at seconds just for the purpose of the and demo. it is also compatible with two servos. So the second servo is on pin six. Yep. So in case you want that. Okay, now it's time to test out the fish feed. So we don't have an aquarium with us, so we have this cardboard box here and this cup that you can see the hole at the top and there should be fish fruit in it, we just didn't bring any so now when you plug it in, it spins and then waits however time it's set to what's the time it's set to right now? Uh, three seconds Yeah, so it waits three seconds and then just feeds them can and then the it time. waits three seconds and then down there we can change this time because we've set it to three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, or six seconds. But you can change it to however many hours your fish need to be fed in. So is it, right now it's, uh, it's at six seconds. So you can see it's taking a little longer because of the dip switch. The magical. There. And it's feeding your fish again. And that's our project. And the hole is up here. So, the end. Thank you for watching.